Editing a worksheet. Class 6. Computer. We have learned the basics of Excel in our previous session. Microsoft Excel is application software used to perform mathematical calculations. After entering data in a worksheet, you may need to make some changes to it. You can add more data and edit its contents. Editing a worksheet involves changing cell contents, copying and moving data, and inserting or deleting rows and column. You often need to select a group of cells to perform various operations, such as copying, moving, inserting, or deleting. Selection can be made in different ways. Let us learn about it. To select row or column, click the row or column heading. To select the entire worksheet, press Ctrl plus A. Or click the Select All, located on the top of the first row heading. To select adjacent rows or columns, select the first row or column. Then hold down the Shift key while you select the last row, or column. And, to select non-adjacent rows, or columns, click the row, or column. Then hold the control key, while you select the other rows, or columns for selection. Entering numbers as text, date, and time. To enter numbers as text, place apostrophe, before the number. The digit will be treated as text. To enter date or the time in a cell, type the number and click on the enter button next to the formula bar. The appearance of date and time on a worksheet depends on the number format applied to the cell. Click on the format drop down button in the cells group on the home tab and select the format cells option. In format cells dialog box, select the number tab. Click on the date or time, in the category list. Choose the type of format and click OK. To enter date and time in a cell, separate the date and time, with space. Changing cell contents. The character and numbers typed in a worksheet, can be seen both in the cell as well as in formula bar. Enter the contents and press enter, to accept the changes. When you type in the new data into the cell, the two buttons, cancel, and enter, will appear on the left of the formula bar. Cell contents can be modified in two ways. Replacing cell contents, and using edit mode. Replacing cell content. You can edit the cell contents and replace them with a new entry. Open a new worksheet and type in the data. Select cell D6, whose content has to be changed. Now, type 65 in that cell and press the Enter key. Note that the previous value 56 is replaced with 65. Similarly, Try to change the contents of the other cells. You can also edit the cell content in another way. To change the content of a cell, select the cell. And then click on the formula bar, where you want to insert the characters. Now, make modifications in the formula bar. Turn on the overtype mode, by double-clicking the cell. Press the insert key from the keyboard. Start typing in the cell. The existing characters will get replaced with new ones. When overtype mode is on, the cursor changes to a thick bar. Using edit mode, select cell D6. Double click inside the cell. The data is also displayed in the formula bar. The insertion point will blink within the cell. 
Note that the edit mode is indicated on the left side of the status bar. Position the pointer at the desired place and change the contents. Press the enter key. The changes will be entered in the current cell. Notice that the edit mode indicator changes to ready mode. Using undo and redo. After making modifications in a cell, you may wish to cancel the changes and retrieve the previous data. To undo the last action performed, use undo button on the quick access toolbar. The redo command is used to quickly reverse the last action that you have done using the undo command. The shortcut key for undo is Ctrl plus Z. And for redo is Ctrl plus Y. Inserting columns and rows. You can insert blank cells, rows, or columns in a worksheet. To insert a single column, select the column or cell to the left of which a new column is to be inserted. For example, select column E. Click on the Insert drop down arrow in the Cells group on the Home tab and choose the Insert Sheet Columns option. Excel inserts blank column to the left of column E. The entire entries of column E will be shifted to column F. Copying and moving data. Copying refers to duplicating data. That is, text, numbers, formulas, either in the same worksheet or in a different worksheet. Moving refers to changing the position of data either in the same worksheet or in a different worksheet. Use copy and paste commands to copy data and use the cut and paste method to move the data. To copy and paste, select the cell or a range of cells that you want to copy. For example, before D4, click on the copy button in the clipboard group. The moving dashed line will appear around selected cells. Select the cell F6 and click on the paste button in the clipboard group. The text will be copied to the new location. If you want to paste the same data repeatedly, click the paste button again at another location. Moving data. Sometimes you find the placement of data is not appropriate. If you do not need to delete and retype it, Excel allows you to move data around the worksheet. Select a cell or range of cells. Position the mouse pointer at the edge of selected cells. Notice that the pointer changes from a black cross symbol to a move pointer symbol. Drag the selected cell or a range of cells to a new destination and release the mouse button. The data will be moved to a new location. The shortcut key to cut and paste is Ctrl plus X and Ctrl plus V. And for copy and paste is Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.